understanding. Okay, so Felicity's kind of gotten her, her <laughs> sorry. Um, Felicity's kind of gotten her her wish come true in the show, and uh, you know when that happens in the show, you know complications ensue. Can you talk about that? In a relationship. Yeah. Though? Okay. So when you get your wish, you're saying it usually doesn't work out. In our reverse. So yeah. Your life. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I feel like that since we sort of gave the relationship a fair shot, we're going to give it a fair shot. Therefore, there's going to be a lot of turmoils in a relationship sense, and then possibly the weight of having this void of not protecting a city anymore, which is such a big weight on human beings. If, you know, we did protect cities, which all of you do daily, I'm sure. <laughs> um, but with that being said, we do get to see them as a couple. I don't know for how long, or you know, maybe it maybe lasts forever, maybe lasts a couple of years, but hopefully the, the love is stronger than whatever we start at them, and therefore we can be inspired and live through that. I know a lot of um, women love Felicity because she's such a strong character, but I've been kind of disappointed that in season three they kind of seem to dress her up and dumb her down a little bit. She felt like she was crying. There was a lot um, of crying. I, I feel like she went through a year that wasn't her necessarily her favorite. Um, I agree. I feel like she lost, she lost a little bit of her strength to a certain extent. I think she I think she got burned a couple too many times and then found herself in situations she wasn't exactly sure she wanted to be in. Or she was being true to herself with, between Ray and between Oliver, and, and if she was giving enough time to what she truly wanted, and then we throw her mom in there, and then we get mom to really tell the truth, and that's kind of what happened to you end up sobbing. So will we see her kind of stronger this season and kind of that's, more in charge back to the... That's my hope, and, <laughs> and the plan, and hopefully she gets better again, because I don't want to see her crying all the time. It was a big disappointment for me to have her cry quite a lot because I, one thing I love about Felicity so much is that she is so strong and independent and, and sticks to her guns and is true to herself and that's something that I admire about her, that I think she was true to herself last year but I just don't know if she necessarily knew what she was doing was authentic and she was trying to find it. Yeah, you miss the fumbling kind of Felicity-isms that you can't do when you're crying all the time. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Felicity's work identity has always been really important to her. Is that something she's struggling with not having, perhaps, in her... Work identity as a title, as in a... As in, you know, what she's doing outside the Arrow Cave, cave. or maybe also in the Arrow Cave, but... I, I think that's one of the things, too, because she worked so hard her whole life for, you know, a specific purpose and a specific genre of work, and she's using that for a completely different... Um, <laughs> completely different way of life, yeah. to a certain extent, and, and having a secret nightlife, like having a secret that big, that you can only share with so many people who are potentially your your window into working with people for the first time and having a family that's, that you've chosen. Um, I think that took a really big toll on her and sort of put things on the back burner, and I think she was actually ignoring a lot of that, yeah. that she, you know, she didn't really have to be. Palmer Tech for Queen's all day. She could kind of handle it. She's smart. She can push it. You know, homework takes 20 minutes, and that became homework as opposed to something that she's sort of worked for for a long time. And, and I think that the Arrow life just took up a lot more um, of her space emotionally and physically. For one, I'm sure she was exhausted and having nightmares, and I don't know when she goes to therapy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. I mean, the girl tells this killer she's been kidnapped like four times. I, I mean, she's got to wake up screaming sometimes. I have a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how she does it. But yeah, I, I, I don't know if she knows that, but I think it's true. There's, a, there's a, an amazing you know, historical significance to this, beyond the fact that we all love her. The fact that she's had relationships with three Justice League members. It's true. Like, no one else has done that on screen before. This is true. Or is likely to in the near future. Um, <laughs> given two of them weren't sort of heroes when she was interested in them romantically or you know, creating a exactly. friendship, um, which is to say, did she make them? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I do believe she brings out the best in people. Um, goes back to saying, like, maybe she exhausted herself a little bit too much and she didn't take care of herself. Just saying. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's an interesting fact. Maybe she's a type. She's a, she's a human particle accelerator. She, she she's a human particle accelerator. She's no longer a polygraphing people. She's a human particle accelerator.